Greetings, good people. I hope everybody is fine and well and doing great. This week, the General Assembly is on. It started in New York City over at the United Nations headquarters. And whenever that's on, there's a massive police presence in uh, Manhattan. A lot of streets get blocked off. Uh, there are a lot of police cars everywhere, heavy security. Think about it with all the heads of state who are in town. Security has got to be tight. And so here are just uh, a few views. It's not comprehensive because actually um, I'm at work. So this is just me on my way to work in Manhattan since you know today I'm working in Manhattan. So I thought I'd just get uh, a few clips and snips of what it's like in Manhattan when the UN General Assembly is on. There are a lot of protests uh, from different people with uh, a message, messages to the UN, protest messages to their governments. And so that takes place as well. And then um, you have the police barriers up and the police cars and it's quite unique. So I thought, you know, for me, it's pretty cool seeing it and walking through it. So I thought I'd just get a few snips and clips and give you um, a little peek at what it's like and get a feel for it. Just to mention, I spent a large chunk of my life in countries uh, such as Kenya, my beloved Kenya. That's uh, where my father's from. That's where my name is from. Rayola, Ogawa, Gor, Osanya, Ninek. And uh, Kenyan is very much part of who I am. And a few other countries as well. And in uh, a number of these countries, you can't film the police. You can't take a picture. You cannot uh, film video without being uh, uh, interrupted, should I say, to put it politely. But here, as far as I know, I've not yet been arrested and um, you, you can film police. I guess unless you don't take it too far and I'm not sure what is categorized as too far, but you can safely film the police. They are public uh, officers, they are uh, public people and you can film them. And so that, uh, just wanted to throw that in there because if this was a uh, uh, somewhere else, in a different uh, country, I might not have the luxury of uh, filming the police in action. I had, I'll tell you what, I had a deep pile up on the box cutter, and I walked around the stuff, and I had to be able to put the I also would like to specify and clarify that views expressed on this channel by individuals other than myself represent the views strictly of that individual so if I interview somebody and they express themselves that does not mean that I endorse what they've said it simply means that I have filmed them as part of a picture of what's happening in this case happening in New York or elsewhere and so the views expressed are not uh, necessarily my views. I'm not claiming them as my views. That is the views expressed by others. And I would like to clarify that.
uh, tell us your name. Uh, my name is Sabrina. I'm a junior in Abraham Lincoln High School. Wonderful. So that's that's here in New York City. Yes. All right. So if you could uh, just tell us, because uh, I know your group is here. Uh, you want to be in the picture as well? All right. Welcome, welcome. I know it's a bit hot and sunny. Uh, and then your your other colleagues. Oh yeah. Uh, so in um, fact, so are you all in the same high school? No. Okay. So you are. Uh, I am a junior, and I'm going to FTR High School. Okay. And you are. I go to Central Park East High School, and I'm a junior. Okay. Nice. So if I could ask, what 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 is uh, your group's message uh, today? Um, so today, our president, with along with another 200 representatives from 200 countries, uh, they came, they drove through this block, and they turned, and we were just supporting them and showing them how much we support them, and showing them our thanks. Okay, wonderful. Yes. So that's uh, uh, you know. I just interviewed some people a little earlier, and theirs was a protest. Yes. So yours isn't a protest. No. Yours is a show of support. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Okay. And then um, the attire you have is a traditional yes, from a Uzbekistan. All right. Very nice. Yeah. Really lovely hats. It's beautiful. Are you going back to school now, or? Oh no. <laughs> Finished, I believe. Okay. I am here on uh, Lexington Avenue, and uh, you've seen pictures of uh, this protest here, and I was also given this. Uh, this right here, and so uh, I get to speak to the lady who gave me this and understand better the cause at hand. So, uh, thank you so much uh, for your time, you, and, and thank you for this pamphlet. Thank you for uh, being here. Okay, you're welcome. This clearly is uh, in relation to Cuba. Yes. So if you could explain, uh, I guess more precisely, what well, uh, exactly the, the message is here and the cause? The cause is basically, we're here because, as you know, the supposed president of our country is here. Uh, we, don't, we don't believe he's our president because nobody voted him in. So we don't consider him our president. And we want the world to know that because no one actually voted him in. Okay. Um, the the ex-president of Cuba, mm -hmm. one of the Castro, the Castro brothers, yes, actually put him there. Mm -hmm. So he's okay. not our president at all. Okay. But he's here in representation of the of the presidency of Cuba. Um, he's here roaming the streets of New York City, um, and he's here to speak in the United Nations. All the while. In our country, there are over a thousand political prisoners, and they're and that they are there because they came out two years ago on on July 11th. They came out of prison. No, they came out oh. to the streets. Oh, to the streets. They, they marched onto the streets. All right. In, so all the people in a marched. Protest, uh -huh. Yes, asking for freedom, and most of them are very young people, and they are currently in prison. So how can that be? How can we let the dictators come here and roam the free country of, of our nation in the free streets, all the while our, our prisoners are in jail and they have them in jail for only asking for freedom. All right, so I understand. So they got imprisoned for demanding freedom. For demanding Was freedom. Okay. And here they come asking for them to get, they're, they're actually here to ask to be taken out of the terrorist list. But they continue to terrorize our, con our, our countrymen. Right. In Cuba right now, there's a law that states that if you go on Facebook and post anything or actually against the, the government or actually put a like on a post that is against the regime, you can go to prison for that. that. That is an actual law inside, written inside the Constitution. I mean, I don't know what that entails, but that's a human right that has been taken away from our, from our people. 
And if I could ask, um, uh, so the group here. Yes. So these are uh, people who live here in the U.S. Yes, we are all. Or who've come from Cuba. Yes. Uh -huh. I came to from Cuba 40. Well, I mean, 43 years ago. So I came in 1980 to the Mariel Boat Lift. Um, I don't know if you remember that, but um, it's it, everyone should know what the Mariel Boat Lift is because. It, it was actually a big, you know, a big immigration to the United States. Did you say Mario? Marielle. Marielle. Marielle yes. Marielle yes, in 1980. But many Cuban-Americans here were, who come from all over the states. I came from South, Charleston, South Carolina. That's where I live. And there are many people from Miami, from uh, all over the United States, North Carolina, Ohio. I mean, we've got people here from all over the world from all over the states that have come here because we we want people to know that they, the dictators should not be here. They should not be here. We, we're not going to allow it. The, the way I see it is, if the, what would the world think of if Hitler was alive today? Would the Jews allow Hitler to roam the streets of New York? Of New York City. Mm. Would they allow him to speak at the, at the United Nations? I don't think so. So we demand the same, the same things because we are victims, of course, of socialism. We're victims of communism. For 64 years, we've been under the same dictatorship. So we deserve the same rights. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for the interview. I'm here with my newest new friend and I'll give you a chance to hear from him and hear about him. So if you could tell us uh, first of all your name yeah. and then um, legacy. I, I know you said you don't live yeah. in New York so where you came from and what brought you here? Well what brought me here um, was to the Cuban mission. Uh, we got word that um, Diaz Canel president, so-called uh, president, never elected by the people, Diaz Canel was in uh, in New York. It was going to be in New York. So, you know, we decided to show up on behalf of our brothers and sisters back home that have been wrongfully imprisoned for simply speaking out against the government. You know, there's no freedom of speech out there, and there's a lot of misinformation going around as to what's going on in Cuba because a lot of people here in Cuba, they think tourists, they think it's all fun and games, paradise, yeah, you know cool if you have money for that but the majority of the time and the reality of the situation is nobody got money for that if you live there so everybody can enjoy Cuba except for the people that live there and that's that's one of the main takeaways that I feel like uh, you know a lot of people need to stay with because you know it's just a very it's a very obscure uh, thing that people are pushing that you know Cuba is like good when it's not you know, there's a lot of people suffering, there's a lot of poverty, there's a lot of injustice, there's a lot of oppression, there's a lot of totalitarianism um, and dictatorship. So, you know, we're here on behalf of the Cuban people. Para todos mis hermanos y mi hermana ahí en el país, en Cuba, en la isla, que, que siguen luchando y aquí estamos. Y si ustedes están en la calle, nosotros estamos también. Eh, y abajo la dictadura, ya tú sabes, hasta que, hasta que vemos una Cuba libre. De corazón. El mensaje en español. <laughs> Patria de vida, libertad. Okay, legacy. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Peace. You could uh, you could follow me on on anywhere. Legacy got bars. G O T bars. Legacy got bars. I'm an artist. I do a lot of hip hop music. Um, conscious rap, you know, shout outs to the old school where lyrics mattered and lyrics still do matter. So peace, peace. God bless my brother. All right. God bless. Bless. All right. You gave and me when you go back and when you go back to Miami, safe travels. Oh yeah, man. Buen yeah, viaje. Man, I'll be back. Bro, Buen I'll be viaje. Back. <laughs> All right. I have a new friend here who I just uh, made, uh, a good gentleman who is from Senegal. So I'd love you all to uh, meet him as well. Bonjour. 
Bonjour. Ok, excellent. Okay, thank you so much. C'est votre première fois ici à New York? Uh, non. Ok, ce n'est pas la première fois. Non, non, ce n'est pas la première okay. fois. Deuxième Le... fois. Ah, deuxième. Oui. Ok, oui. excellent. Merci beaucoup. Merci nice beaucoup, mon frère. <laughs> Merci. Ok. So are we allowed further down? Oh uh, yes, right now. We gone. I just want to go to the entrance, that yeah, the visitors entrance there. All right. Thank you. So there you have it. And that's the snippet that I got. I would have loved to uh, stay out longer film more and capture more action and the fascination, at least the fascination I have of the heavy police and dignitaries presence in New York City at this time. But like I said, I am at work, so I need to get back to my desk. But I hope you've enjoyed seeing this, these little snips and clicks and snapshots of what one section of New York City turns into during the UN General Assembly. It's also been fun meeting people from different countries. Not everybody is uh, willing to come on camera, but always nice to speak to even the ones who don't come on camera, as well as the ones who come on camera and just getting to connect with different people, different cultures, different worldviews. And so to everyone, thanks for the your few minutes here, stay well, and stay blessed.